Hello everyone. Sorry I haven't posted any videos lately. I've been busy working on this beast. I'm using an empty computer box to build my CNC controller in. And as you can see, it's getting pretty packed. So what I've got going on here is I've stripped everything out of this except for the power supply. I'm using the power supply from the old computer to power up this rail I put in. So I'll have 12 volts and my 5 volts, which will operate my breakout board. So in essence, what this does is, you can see I have the switch so far, wired into the old power supply here. And when I turn the switch on, it powers up this power supply. And then what happens from there is, it sends 12 volts down this green and yellow wire which comes down here and turns on this 12 volt relay and what that relay does it energizes the 120 volt power strip I put in which that 120 volt power strip will energize my uh, stepper motor power supplies it also that relay right there will be turning on a light which will be mounted up in here under my switch which I'm waiting in the mail for um, to let me know that this is powered up that the PC's power supply is up which should mean everything is but also what this does it triggers down that relay there will trigger the 5 volts which also from here comes down to it and then it runs up here on this blue and red wire which powers up my breakout board. So from there, wanting to know what's going on in this whole system, because the, the cover will be solid, I wanted indicator lights to know what's going on for any troubles. So what's going to happen, besides having a green light come on for that, that tells me the computer's turned on, and controlling everything. I also mounted two 36 volt relays here and all these relays are going to do is run two lights and what that's going to do is tell me that this power supply is running and it's okay putting out 36 volts and this power supply is running and putting out 36 volts. So that means so far I have three indicator lights tell me that I've turned it on this power supply is working and this power supply is working. I'm also going to have a green light mounted in there that's going to run off the 12 volt and that'll tell me my 12 volts okay and I'm also for the 5 volt I'm going to have a light that tells me I've got 5 volts that's okay that way I know that the breakout board should be powered up. So if all my indicator lights are lit when I'm done and I have any issues, the indicator light will either be out telling me there's a problem with what component in here, or if the power supply is working and I have a problem, it will lead me to hopefully there's a bad board, bad power supply, or something. Well, of course, the light would go out if the power supply was bad, but if my 5 volts is lit, and I don't have, I have no issues with anything else at least I could check my breakout board it's just a way to determine what's going on um, and being an electrician by trade of course I like to make things more than they have to be also when the power supply turns on I have two fans I have a fan here blowing out and I have a fan here blowing in across all my drives those turn on automatically as soon as I turn it on. They're direct off the power supply. Um, I also put in aviation jacks for all my stepper motors, my four stepper motors. I have a fifth aviation jack which is going to be for my e-stop and limits and I'll need another one for uh, more limits. And so far that is it. Um, I can plug it in here quick and turn on what I have and show you. 
All right, I got it plugged in. I'll turn on the switch. And there's everything running so far. As you can see, everything inside has lights. But I won't be able to see those once the cover is enclosed. That's why I'm putting the extra lights on the outside. Um, I can try to give more detail if anybody would like detail. I didn't do a drawing. Um, it's just from experience. Uh, many years. Control work and things. I pretty much know where everything is. I started color coding everything, but I got short on wire. I didn't feel like spending more money on wire when I had a lot of wire. So I just started pairing different colors, and I know what's going on. Anybody else that does this, if you're not an electrician by trade and into this type thing, I would highly recommend that you color code all your voltages and controls. Have a great day. Hope you enjoyed this video.